Okay, so we're going to create a uh, IDW file. This is the first part in uh, your activity 7.1. So we'll go to File, New, and we're going to make a standard.idw. Hit Create, and then we have a couple of things to do. Remember some maintenance here. We got to change the sheet size first. So we change that using right-click Sheet 1, and then Edit Sheet, and we select Size A, so that way we did want to print it, it would fit on one paper. So with that changed, we can now place a base view. Now if you have the part open, if you have the part open, it'll automatically fill this field, but if you don't have it open, you'll have to browse for it. So the easiest way to do this is to make sure that the view you have as your front view is what you actually want as your front view. Most of you will probably choose this, but other orientations are okay. And then you'll place that in the bottom left corner. If you place that, put it up top, right, ISO, create. So there's your drawings. The next thing you have to do in this, in this particular section of the activity is you have to make dimensions. You have to dimension this using both align dimensions and you have to use datum dimensions. So I'm going to show you how to do both of those right now and then we'll dimension the rest of the drawing. So the first thing you're going to want to do is place a set of datum dimensions and what I recommend here is this top view here, probably a couple of things you want to dimension on here. So I'll start with this one and then we can uncheck this box to get that window to not show up every time we place a dimension. And then if I'm going to do datum dimensions, i got to make sure that one of my edges is in common to another one. So I'm going to click this, and then I'm going to click to this, and then I'm going to go from here to here, and I have a good set of datum dimensions. Okay, So I've got that. Now, the other requirement here is that I have to do align dimensions. So that means that the text here has to be vertical because the dimension lines are vertical. So I can do that by doing the following. So I'm going to select one of these dimensions, and uh, escape out of my dimension tool first. Uh, I'm going to select one of these dimensions and right click it. And I'm going to go to edit, sorry, new dimension style. Under new dimension style, I'm going to pop up with this window and allows me to basically customize anything about the dimensions that I'm using in this drawing. So the only thing I really need to customize though is the text. So I'm going to go to the text ribbon, text tab, excuse me. Under here, over here on orientation, it should look similar in 2013. Over here in orientation, we're, we're going to go to the vertical dimensions. Notice that there's a horizontal dimension and we can change the rules on horizontal dimensions or we can change the rules on angled dimensions or aligned dimensions, and we also can change rules on vertical dimensions. One of the rules we can change is how the text shows up. So we want the text to be in line and vertical. So we select that, and then we hit OK. And now it updates that dimension with vertical text. You see the .50 there, vertical. So we don't have to do that every single time we select that style, though, however. All we have to do for the other two dimensions that we made here is hold down the Shift key and select those dimensions, and then over here on the right, way top right here, you have a set of standards that you can change. And one of them is the settings that you just put in. Default ANSI 01 will be the default name. So you hit that, and then it automatically updates those dimensions with vertical text. Now, when you dimension the rest of the drawing, of course you're going to use datum dimensions, but one of the things that you can do now is you can actually switch to that format that we just put in. And what happens now is anywhere else I put vertical dimensions in, watch, that, watch this, it will will, if I click it correctly, let's try that again, one more time, there, see, it lines the text for you, and if I want to do the rest of it here, that's fine, okay, I probably should have put these over here, but that's okay, and then notice that when I do the other dimensions here, like if I do this one, it aligns it with horizontal text, so I don't have to worry about that. The other uh, section here will probably have to dimension. Let's see, we've got overall depth, we've got overall width, we need overall, uh, we have overall height. Uh, we just need to know the de uh, heights here. So I'm going to do on the right side view here. I'll do a, a dimension here to here. And then since it's got to be datum dimensions from here to, oops, I clicked the same line, silly me. From here to here. There we go. Okay. Uh, and I forgot to change the style, so that's why it didn't show a vertical, but I can just again click this. Uh, dimension when I'm not in dimension mode and just switch the format itself like that. Okay, and uh, that's pretty much pretty much it. We do have one more dimension that does uh, is needed and it's actually right here so I'm gonna change that quick just because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. So I'm gonna go back here, hit this, and we're gonna go side to side and then side to side and that's that. Okay, so that's a pretty fully dimensioned drawing. Um, and also with line dimensions and datum dimensions. So uh, the rest of the parts, of course, follow the directions as listed on the activity. And uh, have a great day.